Hi guys, Dave Clayton here. You might know me as Kelby Evangelist. Uh, I've got a great Photoshop tip here for web design. Quite often I get a request from Glyn where he'll text me and say, Dave, what's the resolution of this image here on my website because I want to change it and I'll be at work and I can't do it for him. So the easiest thing to do is use Photoshop to get the information. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to control click the image and copy it. Then we'll head over to Photoshop, open that up and we go to File, New. Now the first thing you're going to see here is the control box and it's going to have a preset and the preset shows us clipboard which is the one we want. Now below you've got International Paper Photo Web. Although this is a web tip, we're actually going to use the clipboard because it's taken an exact copy of what's on the website. In this instance, it's 200 pixels by 227, resolution 72 RGB, so it's perfect for web already. Now I can give that information to him and he can go off and create his own graphic, or we can just do OK and do Command V and paste the image in. Now on Photoshop, it might look smaller than it does on the website, but that's due to resolution. So all we're concerned about is the actual pixel size. So I can go ahead now and I can create a whole brand new graphic or I can amend this graphic. Like Glyn might want something taken off the top or amended. And now what we'll do is we'll go back to the website and we'll choose a different graphic. And this time it's his logo at the top. So it might be that he's changed the font on his logo and we want to change that. So again, we do control click we do copy image, we go back over to Photoshop and again we go file, new and again here we've got preset is clipboard, 988 pixels, 182, 72 resolution, RGB colour, we do OK, we do command V and this time we can just drag some guides out just to make sure we get the graphic in the right place and we get the new graphic. I haven't got a logo here, but we'd go File, Place Embedded. Uh, the, the new image would appear, and then we can make sure it's all right, and then we go up to File, Save for Web. It's 988.182. We can pick either JPEG or PNG, whichever you need. Save it, fire it off to your web designer, or upload it yourself, and there you are. You've got exactly the right size image for what you need. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helped and I'll see you next time.